Drop the roof and let the smoke clear Okay, so my auntie is currently paying for the things that I picked out What is this? Drop the roof and let the smoke clear I got diamonds doing just these slides in both kids. The makeup held up so well. Like, oh my days, I'm so proud of how I did my makeup today. Right now, I'm not going to tell to do my hair. It's, I'm going to get in locks today. Type the type of locks is passion twist. I'm very excited to do this again because I was struggling to pick a hairstyle for school. I want to do locks again like the one I did in London because those ones when I was using it to tore my hair out to pull out my hair. I'm so picky with the hairstyles that I do because I'm trying to grow my hair. I don't want to damage any growth that's happening. Like my front hair has honestly grown back. Like before there was a whole bald spot here and there was nothing on my front hair. Like it's grown back and I don't want to reverse the growth. So yeah. Like a man. Like a man. I'm a buff baby, but I dance like a man. She she a nice lady and she shaking the yam. Spent the, spent the whole summer trapping out the sedan. Marching, marching with the bands, cause I think that I can. Last strand. Not a fighter, but I'll never let you play for me. kind of making the hair because i really don't enjoy making my hair but the result like towards the end i just start feeling myself you know because the hair is starting to come together but honestly i'm so happy i really like the hair like it's out of my comfort zone because i normally don't do short hair like i like my hair really long whenever i braid it whatever i'm doing with it it's actually very cute for the length you know if it was long i feel like the hair would have been a very different aesthetic lens really affects the way the hair is and i really like the short side like, it's new and it buys a vibe i love it i do i do hi okay, guys it's a few days later I'm finally able to show you guys what i want to ever know it's been carrying lots of things so i go on for skincare and i go on for makeup lights got dental floss cotton board power rides or shape per se smoothing bag b5 plus got this one for my mom and this is the medix 5.5 vitamin c plus turmeric brightening cream bands a brush shower caddy i bought two sponges bath wash got this really lovely shower car acne treatment toothpaste i bought the toy this is so freaking popular especially among the babes that suffer from acne rehydrating cream to form cleanser for normal to dry skin lady care premium with wings these are the extra long ones this is the bowl that i bought my mom recommended i pick sandwood as a fragrance sanguine hair brush and regarding medicine the only thing i got was my hair medicine painkiller it's also got this big ass comb this is so good especially if you have severe dry skin the nice seal baby petroleum jelly makeup for school these two mascaras and i have to say i freaking love them and brow pencil cosmetic concealers a few makeup brushes hair clip with this blush last me all day and this is 1150 it's amazing uh two bone faces with concealer it's eyebrow drop from zano cosmetics this new spf from hatsumo again this is a japanese brand i got detergent i got two buckets there I hope it helped you in some way to know what type of things you should bring to school and it honestly depends on the university that you're going to so on what type of space is provided for you in the room too so that matters a lot i'll see you guys when i'm shopping for the final things yeah good night i'm just finding out where i filmed this whole <laughs>
was a bit hectic for me because some things so small and minor happened but I had an intense mental breakdown because of it. I don't even know that I'll call it a mental breakdown. A revelation to how I treat money and my relationship with money which really made me sad and depressed and making me a bit anxious. So I feel better now. I, I, I am better now. But I couldn't film yesterday. It, it was just too much for me to handle. So yesterday I went to Ebano. I went to Minnesota and I got a few things and I'll show you guys the things when I get home. So I'll see you guys when I get to Minnesota. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. <laughs> Lie. I'm not sad. I'm not even feeling like I should. Mm -mm. It just feels weird that this is actually happening. I'm actually going to uni. I'm heading to my aunt's house to go and stay with her for the night because we are flying together out on Sunday, which is tomorrow. And our flight is a morning flight. So I decided to just stay with her, you know, so the car can just come and get both of us at the same time. Not because I'm not going to be spending my last time in it was in my personal space in my room. Nonetheless, I am very excited. I'm a bit anxious, I'm not going to lie. I've been so anxious. I've been talking to God about it. But I decided to not allow those thoughts to manifest in my head, in my heart, and allow them to come to life. But instead I'm going to think good positive things and read the scripture and profess what God has said over my life, over me, you know, and my future. So I'm very excited, you know, living in the present, trying to be more present and living in the present moment. So I'm done packing for school, right now all my bags are downstairs. If you guys saw the way I packed my bags, my luggage is, it's crazy. It's like, I have three huge black boxes. I'm headed right now, so I'm gonna see you when I go to my auntie's house and probably see you in the next video.